Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today I'm going to do a 9 to 12 months baby essentials video. The things I'm going to talk about today are by no means things that you absolutely must have. These are just things that, you know, they're must haves because I've come across them and they've made my life a lot easier and we found them really useful. So I want to tell you about them. There are things that I mentioned in my previous must have videos that we still use. I'm not going to repeat them in this video because I don't want to bore you guys who have seen the other videos. So that's why I recommend you just go back and watch those videos. Now that that's all said, let's just jump right into the video this suction plate so probably up until 12 months 11 months we were just putting food on directly on the tray of Jed's high chair um, because you know babies are messy eaters and the food tends to go everywhere anyway then we started introducing a few suction type plates um, I bought a few cheapy ones from my favorite shop Kmart sorry Kmart love you but your suction plates don't suction very well so don't bother with the cheapies I asked my mum friends what the best suction plates are and a few people said this one so this is by a company called bamboo bamboo and the suction is really really strong and what I have actually found since we've started using this plate is that we're ending up with less mess on the floor for whatever reason he just seems happier eating out of the plate so i would highly recommend this one really really good purchase and the other thing in the category of feeding i wanted to mention is just a little snack so there's lots of snack options for babies and toddlers recently i've come across these they're the baby mum mum uh, what do they call them? They call them rusks, but it's actually kind of like a rice cracker consistency. They're really handy to have as a snack on the go or, you know, um, yeah, if you just want to give them a bit of texture or something different to chew on. You will have seen this little guy before. This is Ellie. This is Jed's little comforter. Um, I have talked about these in a previous video. We introduced a comforter, like I can't even remember when, it was probably around the eight month mark, just at a guess. And it took a while for him to sort of warm to this. I used to put it in on the crook of his neck. But something that I introduced only a few months ago is that I actually um, sewed one of these tabs. I sewed some Velcro um, dots on there on my sewing machine so that we can attach his dummy to this and hook that on there so this has been a pretty big game changer for sleeping because at night if Jed wakes up you know in between a self uh, a sleep cycle he knows now that his Ellie has a dummy on it and he can easily find this in the cot and he replaces his dummy and we don't have to get up. I think there are some comforters like this that do have hooks or little, you know, things that you can attach a dummy. I just DIY'd mine, but that's just a little tip for you for sleeping. That's worked really well for us if you're using a pacifier. I have one more on the topic of sleeping are these little wool pants. So when Jed was a newborn, or for the first few months of his life really, we were changing his nappy a few times a night. Partly I think we didn't really know any better, we just kind of felt like we were up feeding him and we felt like we had to change his nappy. I wouldn't do the same for a second baby. But then later on, so much later on, we were having to change his nappy anyway because he was leaking through. So you know, 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, he'd wake up crying, we'd go to him and his um, PJs would be soaked, his sheets would be wet. So we tried a few different things. People suggest doing a double nappy, putting a bigger nappy over the top of a smaller one. None of these things worked for us. 
you can get different types of pilchers and whatever but these are the ones that have worked for us and since starting to use these we haven't changed his nappy overnight since then and we have had zero issues with leaks because they're made of wool uh, they absorb but they also neutralize any odors so these pants can last for weeks without me changing them and they still smell completely fresh you just put it over the top of their nappy and he yeah he sleeps in this every night and basically you just have to wash it in a, a hand wash in a wool wash um, and then in this lanolin substance it's very easy trust me but if you are having any issues with a leaker trust me get these it will make things so much easier for you someone has started mowing their lawn outside so i apologize for any background noise but i'm gonna keep going my husband is out of the house with jed and this is the best time for me to do this so i'm gonna do two more things on the topic of clothing one is just good old bandana bibs this is a bib that i made myself but you don't have to make them yourself uh there's a lot of people who sell nice bandana bibs on etsy if you're looking for them so these are great especially around this age around you know from six months on and what have you uh when babies are teething a lot because they dribble a ton and if you don't have any bib on them sometimes they will saturate their clothes with dribble so it's just good to have some i like having little cute bibs that you can put on on them that kind of don't completely ruin their outfit and the last thing is this swim hat so we have this one it's by the brand bedhead um this particular one is waterproof so he wears this in the pool and the key here is that it has a strap underneath so something with a string under the chin is great and this brand has a lot of good designs next i'm going to just move on to the topic of organization and i'm going to tell you about a little hack that i've been using to organize jed's drawers since the very beginning since he was born and that is these ikea boxes so ikea sell these they're just little fabric boxes that they zip here and they come in a pack you get like um a couple of big squares a couple of rectangles and a few little cubes and they just help as you can see i've got jed's clothes all folded in here they just help to organize all the clothes neatly in the drawers i have made a video on clothes organization in jed's room so i'll insert a link to that above so i recommend you watch that if you're interested in a really good way to organize baby's clothes I just wanted to share with you an item for mums who are breastfeeding and that is this breast pump very glamorous i know but hey it's part of it's part of the thing so this is a manual breast pump it's by phillips avent and i'll find out the actual name of the model and link it below so this is a manual thing that i got really late in the piece like a few months ago and the reason I got it is because I wanted to go out one day to something by myself and I was going to have to pump and I didn't want to have to lug my whole you know big expensive spectra plug in the wall pump with me so I bought this one I think it was around the $80 mark and it worked so well it was so easy to use the yield of milk was perfect i would say it was either the same as or better than what i got from my um, electric pump and it's actually easier so this week i've started or i this week i weaned jed from one of his feeds in the mid-morning and i did have to pump a couple of times to to deal with like comfort levels for that and I just used this because it was easier for me than plugging in the whole thing and all of that jazz. It's a really great option to have if you do need something that's portable 
It's also a great option if you're not sure whether you're going to need a breast pump and you don't want to invest the money in it. If you're in that boat, recommend this one. Moving on now, I'm going to talk to you about a few things on the topic of baby safety. So around the time when your baby starts to crawl, walk and what have you, you want to be thinking about um, gates and barriers and things. It totally depends on the setup of your house and your circumstances. But I will just tell you, for us, an essential has been to get a um, a playpen that was a good sentence I did a bit of research on brands and the one that we ended up getting was the um, kitty cots wooden one we have floorboards at home and my husband did go to Bunnings and get some rubber feet and um, attach them to the bottom just so the um, playpen didn't scratch the floor and so Jed is less able to push the thing around Another thing, usually I think most people do have to get baby gates for somewhere in their house. The brand that we have is the Dream Baby. I can't vouch for any other brands or compare them because this is the only one we've used. But I will say I am really happy with the brand. I like the fact that with these gates you can hold the gate open and they kind of, they hold in place. So if you do want the gate to just stay open to keep um, you know a thoroughfare there you can do that so that's the brand that I would recommend and the third thing on the topic of I guess safety is a car shade we initially had one of those car shades that's like a square this big that you stick with a suction cap onto the window totally ineffective there was sun like coming in from around it Anyway, eventually we found this brand um, from outlookshade.com. I will link it below. And basically the, the car shade hooks over the top of your door frame and then it hooks to under the door. So it's very secure and it offers great shade coverage. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the last topic, which is toys. So I'm just going to tell you a couple of things that we have among his toys that are his favorites i don't have a picture of but it's a sand pit you know those shell uh, plastic shelves that you can open and you can put water in one side and sand in the other so we have one of those in the backyard and it's fantastic he loves having a play around in there and it's just something different that he can do throughout the day so highly recommend those another thing this is probably one of his favorite things to do and it's this splash mat you connect the hose to it and it fills up with water and it spurts out the water that's just a really fun activity um, for home in the summer something you can do in the backyard sometimes I'll put a towel next to where he's playing and I might get to read a few pages of my book while I'm supervising him there in the water so it's a win-win for everyone Hey, <laughs> One of his other favorite toys is this spiral uh, tower thing that my parents gave Jed for Christmas. Let me just find the ball. I've got a bag of toys here. So you put the ball in here and it goes down like that. It comes with a few balls he really loves this the next one you've all seen these is a good old shape sorter this is one that jed really enjoys so yeah don't need to really go into much more it's just one of those shape sorters instruments as well so we have a tambourine here he really likes to play with that but occasionally i will put on some wiggles or we might play some music and have a little band session and yeah he really enjoys that one I also gave him this drum which he likes playing with. I'm pretty sure both these are rated for two or three year olds um, but as long as you're supervising them and you're comfortable with it as a parent then go nuts I say but yeah safety first and everything pop-up books so 
we all know spot we all grew up with spot but pop up flat book sorry pop up not pop up flat books are a real winner in our house um other toys he has this little kitchen walker which is downstairs um it has like a stainless steel bowl in it and some shapes that you can push through into a cart he really likes playing with that so it's something he can stand up on and play with um so on that topic of walkers i'm going to segue now into a few items that you don't need to have and one of those actually is a walker so for those of you who don't know a walker is one of those it's a toy that uh, the baby can stand up and hold a handle and push around the room so a lot of people might think that you need one of those to encourage a baby to walk you absolutely don't need one of those at all your baby will stand up on like the edge of your lounge and learn to walk around in different ways you don't need to buy a walker that said we were gifted a couple of walkers and they have different toys um, like things to push and things to turn on them he does like using them for that so it's like a bit of an activity board but as for the function of being an actual walker to teach them to walk no you don't need to get one of those another thing that in my opinion you don't need to get is like a jumper so there's different types available there's some that you can hook between frames of doorways and you strap the baby in and they jump around um although there's the activity center type ones where the baby sits in and they bounce around and there's different gadgets that they can play with so we bought the baby einstein one of these and by the way that one is enormous it's it ended up living in the garage for when i put the washing out um it's just too big for for our space but do you need one for baby's development? No, you don't. In fact, it's recommended that babies don't spend more than I think 20 minutes a day using those because it can be bad for their development to spend any longer in there than that. That said, the bouncer thing, the jump thing was handy for keeping Jed contained and occupied while I had to quickly do something um but he's outgrown it now so he got probably six months of use out of it being used for five to ten minutes every other day uh but he wouldn't told he does he's over it now he doesn't tolerate being in one place and the thing is like the age that they say that that thing can be used i think is up to 20 four months or possibly even 36 don't quote me on that I'm not sure but there's absolutely no way that Jed would tolerate up to that time being in there this is my baby your baby may be different but this is just to let you know if you're considering oh we need to get one of those activity jump uh, jumpy things no you you don't need to get one so don't feel pressure like you need it for their development if you think you could if you think it could be handy for you then go ahead but also check out the second hand ones because there's a huge market for second hand jumper things oh there is one more thing that i want to tell you about the trolley cover this is kind of a luxury must have and i'm sure some people look at us we're in, when we're in the shops and think <laughs> why do you have that there but basically, it's it's something that my mum gave to me. And I'll be honest, when she gave it to me, I kind of thought, oh, that seems like a little over the top. But I love it so much. Basically, it, one, stops them from touching the dirty trolley, which maybe that's paranoid, but whatever. And But it just provides a nice cushion on their back and on the seat. And you can put some things to entertain them in there and it won't fall out the side so you might just have their drink bottle or a little toy if you're going shopping doing the groceries and it's going to take a while i'm pretty sure that wraps up my list of nine to twelve months 
baby essentials. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end of the video. I hope that you found something helpful from the video. Please let me know in the comments if you have any must-haves that you want to add to this list. Let me know if you found this helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. And like I said, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out a video once a week. I have been doing vlog style for a while but I'm going to also try and, and do a few helpful videos because like I said at the beginning I found these types of videos really helpful um, before becoming a mum and since becoming a mum so I just want to help other people as well. Thank you so much for watching again and I will hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!